Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to FTP Skies. It has been quite a bit since the last episode, specifically more than two weeks. I don't know how specific that is, since it's just more, but it's been more than two weeks. And between then and now, we did a Twitch stream where we, well, upgraded the base. So, we now have some pathways going out. We have different sections for different things. We have a Botania area over there. We have a power generation over here. More specifically, I think I'm going to call this the green energy power area. And yes, I need to take care of these mobs so they don't spawn because otherwise it, it can get a little bit dangerous. We also moved the tree farm over here, which uh, I uh, don't... Well, I guess it... I think it ran out of of saplings. It's fine. It's actually been so long that I don't remember exactly what we were doing. Like, what what on earth is this? What what is what is this? <laughs> this yeah, no, no, uh, no. Be gone. Fix that real quick. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, yep, yep. The power cables, powering the furnaces and whatnot. Um, yeah. It, it got cut off. <laughs> I remember accidentally vein mining it during the stream. Well, better fix that. And we are back up and running. Now speaking of the drawers that I literally just removed, I think what I want to do this episode is first of all make this mega torch if possible, but then go ahead and go digital with the story system because this is cool but it is not ideal with this interface. Also I would like to be able to use uh, refined storage for automating certain things with items and import and export and things like that. However, speaking of refined storage, I don't know if that is the way I want to go. I have never really set up a, well, set up with Applied Logistics before. I'm a little bit scared to do so, but part of me wants to take this opportunity to try and do it. Even though I have absolutely no idea how to do things. Like, what, what are all these cables? <laughs> well, I suppose we can start simple. I'm going to be needing a couple of torches for this, and then a couple of gold blocks. I should be able to afford that. And then a mega torch. Prevents natural spawning of hostile monsters in a big radius around the torch. Yep, I definitely want that, and I'm going to place it right there. I don't know how effective that is, but I'm not going to be sleeping. That way we can see if it actually is going to work. Well, either way, before I pick one of, either one of these applied logistics or advice storage, I need to get started and get to this point right here. So, I need Certus Quartz Dusts in this pack, both AE2 and Refined Storage need Certus Quartz to start. Luckily, it's simple, just sift dust through a mana mesh. Uh, we should be doing that already, and yep, uh, where's my engine? There we go. That, that's not hover mode. Where's my, where's my hover mode? Uh, nope, that, gee, aha, there we go. And I should be able to, yep, there we go. Darn it. Thurnus Quartz Dust can be converted to Thurnus Quartz Crystal in Mechanism's Enriching Chamber. Alright, so I need an Enrichment Chamber. Is this a, it's been so long, I don't remember. Nope, that's a bit of logic infused, I knew that. Enrichment Chamber. Just make sure that I don't have one already. Uh, in nope, definitely don't. Definitely don't. Steel casing. Need more steel. Ah. By the way, I didn't really advertise this, but if you are interested in catching live streams, be sure to head on over to twitch.tv slash binary as that is where I will probably be doing most of my future live streams. And Enrichment Chamber. And if I just go ahead and remove this, and this, and this, and also this, and then go ahead and place this here for now. And so if we add this to the enrichment chamber, this should be making what we need, in theory. And, and once we have that, then we need the charged surface quartz. It might be a good idea to craft charged surface quartz into some body surface quartz. To get renewable resource. Well, I still don't know. Oh, we need a charger. Okay. Got it. Budding searches quad. I don't know how to make these. Damaged in world. So this quartz block submerge in water and get damaged budding, then chipped. Imperfect body quartz has a chance to decay when buds grow. And then damaged. 
Okay, so I can basically repeat the process in water, etc. until I get a flawless body to the squad. So I think at least that's how I'm understanding it. Anyway, we got that, so that's cool. So now we need charge, so that means we now need the chamber, or the charger. Oh, that's actually very simple. I assume it's going to be needing power, so I'm going to plop that down right there. And then... Oh. Oh wow, well that was fast. Okay then. Yep. That, that's quick. Okay, so now I have five of these. And what did it say again? Let's grab a few more. Then we need the flux crystal. However, I first want to make the budding thing. Damage budding. There we go. And so it's a quartz block. So I'm going to need a, a couple of these. And considering it is nighttime, it looks like that we are indeed safe. All right. I have enough now to make a full-on block. Yeah. Hmm. Hold on. Nope. Okay, now I am thoroughly confused. Ha! Huh. Well, that was easy then. Okay, so if I drop this and this together... It, it did say submerge, right? Submerge in... something. Right, hold on, pop this down. One of those, one of those. Oh, and there we go. So now we have a damage budding Surtis Quartz thingy, and I think if I just combine those together again, we'll get a chipped, and then again, yep, then a flawed, and then again, and we will get a flawless, I think? Taking a little bit longer each time it appears, which makes total sense. Oh yeah, quite, quite a bit of time actually. Well, while it is doing that, I can take a look at how to get the Flux Crystal. The final step, throw it in with some other items to get Flux Crystals. So, that seems easy enough. Fluix Dust? Can I make that? Mm, nope. I need Charge Surtis, Redstone and Nether Quartz. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Yep, it's still going. Okay. So I'm just gonna make another hole over here. Pop some water in. Do this and do that. That should eventually turn into what we need. And I'm just gonna make a few more of these charged sorts of quartz. This is still going. This, however, is done. And there we go. Oh, 28. I did not put 28 in there. That I definitely did not do. <laughs> But okay, I will not complain whatsoever. So now we have 28 of those. Don't know if that is quite enough, but we will find out. And I think... Mm, I'm not sure which one of these two routes to go down to. Uh, I don't know. Import... Nope. See, yeah. Mm. See, I don't know how to use this. I don't know how to import and export two different inventories using this. Redstone card, capacity card, fuzzy card, acceleration, inverter. I, I think I'm gonna go with refined storage. That's still going. I think I'm going to go with refined storage because it's the one that I know most about. And I mean, this just looks... Okay. Uh... Yeah, I think refined storage will be fine. All right, but that's just how it's gonna go. All right, so first of all, we need cables for refined storage, and then we're going to be needing the controller. We are also going to be needing a couple of other things. So refined storage, uh, that's not gonna work. Refined storage, there we go. We are going to need a disk drive. We are also going to be needing a crafting grid. I'm pretty sure it's the correct one. Yep, crafting grid. Then we will be needing these cables right here, import and export, we'll make those as we go along and we actually need them. However, now we need the disk drive. 16K, 64K sounds cool. However, I don't know if we can actually make these yet. We need the advanced, then we need the improved, then we need the basic. I don't know how to make... Okay, so smelting surface, uh, surface quartz will then create silicon. This is how that is made. This is made with printed silicon. Okay, process of binding is also something that we need. 
I need the inscriber for this. Okay, this just got complicated. <laughs> uh, ins uh, inscriber is this thing. Okay, this is easy enough. I need printed silicon, which is ins which is inscriber silicon press, which is made from a smith. Okay. Wow, this just got more complicated than what I'm used to. Okay, uh, uh, quartz and rich iron. First of all, we're gonna make a stack of that because we'll probably be needing quite a bit of it. Gonna make a couple of cables. Uh, looks like I'm going to need a lot more of this flux crystal stuff. Oh boy, I don't think I'm prepared for this whatsoever. I need the controller. I need machine casing. Oh, there we go, that's the controller. Okay. So far, so good. Then we need a disk drive, which is another machine casing, and an advanced processor, which is a raw advanced processor, which is made like this. So now I need to get to the printed silicon. Okay, I need paper. I need to turn on the engine. Give me a stack of that. Split it. Smelt, smelt. All right, one piece of silicon paper. That's the inscriber silicon press, and I'm going to need the inscriber itself. Inscriber, which means I need two sticky pistons, so that means I need two pistons. And I just saw something, I don't have any slime balls. That's not good. Uh, right, mana infusion, cactus. I can get that fairly easy. Ooh, sifting, sifting if it's waterlogged. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, I do have cactus. Uh, Right, and then if I go ahead and grab a little bit of coal, hold on, hold on, hold on, go ahead and do this, alchemy, I, can, I think I can make that. Do I have an ender pearl? I do have ender pearls. So if I throw this in here, after giving it this, right, that should activate, this is going here. This needs to go in here, and as soon as there's enough mana, we'll get a, a super pearl thingy. Then we can make this. Then we can turn the cactus into slime. And there we go. Mana pearl. And if we go ahead and use that in this recipe. Uh, need another brewing stand. And apparently I need more living rock. Right. I uh, don't remember what they're called. Pure daisy, I'm pretty sure. And then some stone. Yeah, it's it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Let's place this over here in the corner, somewhere right there. Let's get some more living stone, and uh, there we go. Living rock has been acquired. That, then we can get this. And now, if I go ahead and pick this up, place this, place this, and I'm going to be needing that stick of living wand, living. Nope, one, yes, one. There we go, one of the forest. And I need to put you there. So we now have mana to this, which if I now go ahead and do this, boom, we are getting slime balls very slowly. And that should be, I need, I need to make a ton of these though. So I think I just need to sit here for a bit, but four should be enough for I picked up the cactus by mistake. Four should be enough for now because I can now make. What was I making? Was it these? Was it just that that I was missing? Let's try and make these. I was sure I was missing some pistons or something. Yes, I need I need to make these now. So I need to make the pretty silicon. So I need to make the inscriber. That's what I was missing. That's what I was missing. Never mind. Go. That's one sticky piston. That's two sticky pistons. And then we should be able to do this. And I assume that this is going to be needing. Yep, that needs power as well. I'm going to remove this. Place the inscriber right there. Place this over here for now. Put this in here. Put like half a stack of silicon in here. I don't know if it needs power. It is connected, so I guess it does need power. And there we go. Pri oh, we can only take one at a time. Well, good thing we have what is called a hopper. And that we can put that there and put this in here. Right? And then I just need to output it. Turns out I don't need to output it because it can store more than one. So we're good there. 
And now that I have these printed silicons, I should be able to, first of all, make some... I can't make a chest, apparently. Can I make the crafting grid yet? No, this drive. I need to make this, so I need to make this, so that means I need to go like that. Then I can cook that. And as soon as it's done, it should have an advanced processor, meaning I can go ahead and make this as soon as I have some sort of chest available. Just like that. Sounds good to me. Do this, and boom. This drive has been completed. Now I just need the crafting grid, which requires a grid. Which requires all of this stuff. Oh dear me. A destruction core, I need a construction core, and then I need improved processors. Right. Improved processors is this. Need two of those. Then I need a construction core, which is a basic processor. And I'm pretty sure that I need two of these as well. One for the dis destruction core. Is that what it's called? Destruct? That sounds bad. If you ask me. Alright. Construction core and destruction core. Then I just need to smelt these. And with that, I can now make a grid. And then a crafting grid. Nope. Need a crafting table and then an advanced processor again. And boom, crafting grid has been completed. Nice. So now I have to set up. I just need to go ahead and get some storage devices. And for this, I'm just going to add everything in here. I need to get, I want to get this. So that is three 1K for one 4K storage part. So I need three of those. So I need to make, so that is that, that, yep. And I'm already out of silicon. Oh boy, because I want the 60, I want the 64k storage part so I can use that to make a 64k storage disk. So to make this I need 3 16k, which means I need 9 4k, which means I need 20, 9, 18, 27 1k? That's a lot. Yeah, that, that, that's a lot. <laughs> that, that's quite a bit. Uh, that's 10. And I'm already out of... Oh, yeah. We set the slime thingy too. Ooh. Yep. That's a lot of slime. Loving it. Yeah. Okay, so a 4K storage part needs three. And I need four of those. But then I need four of these. So I need three, six, nine of these. I need three of those. So I need nine of these. Which means I need... Nine, eight. yeah, I do need 27 of these. I do need 27. All right, last piece of glass, and that is the 27th 1K storage part complete. Which means I can now do this as soon as I have done, uh, smelted these down. Which, uh, I, I do need more furnaces, don't I? Oh, I already have one. Oh, well, that is very convenient. Why didn't I place that sooner? All right. Basic processors, and I should be able to do this now. One, two, yeah, I, I, okay. I need a lot more. <laughs> need a lot more of these, that's for sure. Okay. Oh, we got a visitor. Please give me something you... Okay. Like, goodbye then. Now that I have these, I should be able to make all of them. That's nine. Which means I'm that much closer. So now I can go ahead and make three of these as soon as I have four, eight, twelve of these. So I need to get uh, twelve of these crafted and smelted. And I'm out of silicon. That's fine. Just need twelve. Please have enough for twelve. Perfect. Just enough. Couldn't be more perfect. And twelve improved processors. Which means I can go ahead and do this. Then do this again, because this is satisfying. Perfect. Now I just need to make one of these, which means I need to get these. But I am running out. Of, I am running into a problem, which is I am running out of process binds, which is spring and slime. So ideally, I would want to fix that issue by setting up a farm and whatnot. For right now, putting cactus into that thing and growing these, <laughs> which in turn gives me string yeah that i'm fine with it it's fine also i love how we made this look at this the water 
is made to look like it's actually flowing out. I, I love this. We did this on the stream. I absolutely love that setup. All right, put cactus in there. Put this over here. Just wait a little bit for slime to appear. Just like that. That should be enough to do this one thing. And one, two, three, four. That should be enough. Cook that up. Take the silicon. Put in here. And there we go. Finally. Okay. Oh, you gotta be. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Well, anyway, I think I might be running into a little bit of an issue. First of all, I don't know why this stumper keeps going up. But. It would appear that I have 66,730 items in the storage altogether. And uh, I'm currently making a 64,000 item card. I don't know if it's actually going to be enough. I don't know if it's counting the stuff over there, which would kind of make sense. If I remove this, all these things, they are part of the, of the uh, drawer system over there. So... Yes, that would make sense if it's counting that. And if so, we should have plenty of storage. I refuse to believe there is 60,000 storage in this. That, no. That's just, that's, no. <laughs> I refuse to believe that. Anyway, let's go ahead and make this. And finally, 64,000 storage part. And with that, we can make this. 64,000 storage disk. Good times indeed, and I don't know why it takes so long to dig up this crafting station. But now, I need to set this up. And that means breaking that. Um, we're currently temporarily missing or dismantling this whole setup here. Um, yeah, it's not going to be pretty. Actually, can I make mine this? Nope, apparently I cannot. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so, yep, there's stuff in there. Right, uh, how am I gonna do this the most efficient way possible? I should have made a very big chest before I did this. Aha, this one is empty. I can, I can use that. Get, get back here. Get back here. Get, get place this here. Then I can take everything that's in here. I can put it into this very chest. It'll take a little bit of time, but it'll be worth it. And this chest is full. I can now take this. Can I make it into a double chest? No, unfortunately. That would have been cool. Uh, so that's going to stay there. I'm going to have the disk drive right here. Then I'm going to have the crafting grid right there. I'm going to have the controller on the back. I'm going to get rid of these. Ah, oh, you can't vein mine these. Ah, oh. That would have been... Great if you could vein mine these. Why does the vein miner work for these? That's weird. Huh. I wish that would have worked. I wish that would have worked. Anyway, now I need to find a universal universal cable. Which I should have somewhere. Because I know I didn't use all of them. I know I didn't use all of these cables. Basic. You know what? Let me search for basic. It should highlight... That's a mechanical pipe. It should highlight the cable if it's here. Aha! That is... Maybe I missed saw it. I, I don't know. But I should be able to do this. This is then going to get power. This is on. And then if we add this, we should be good. Search box mode, auto-selected, GI synchronized and auto-selected. Size, stretch, small, medium, large. Let's go with medium, maybe. No, no, stretch. Small, stretch. Stretch is good, if you ask me. All right, don't do that. And I should be able to now transfer things over. Yep. Oh, okay. Auto-selected is going to be very annoying. Uh, J.I. Synchronized Two-Way, I think. There we go. Good. I think that's good. And I should now be able to just put stuff in here. Piping it in would probably be the easiest way of doing things. But I want to see now how much 
this is actually going to fill up the system once I move all the chests into this. And I can, if I wanted to, use these gold chests. I could upgrade them as well and then use an external storage device and then have these as almost like storage disks if I wanted to. That could be a cool use for them, I suppose. It's another one emptied and uh, am I going to do this? I am going to do this because it is satisfying. <laughs> it is extremely satisfying. Yep. All of that stuff. Nice. That must, uh, this might be one of the most satisfying things to do in Minecraft. Breaking an entire chest and just doing that. Like, the sound. I love it. We're nowhere near full. Yep, it's definitely counting that as well. Nowhere near full whatsoever. <laughs> that is awesome. Phew, okay. That means we will be set for quite a long time, I think. Final chest now. And just like that. Oh, give me my Paxel back, please. But just like that, I think that was everything. Yep. And we only have 5,500 items out of that entire thing. It's looking a little bit weird now, this. This setup here. But don't worry, I'll, I'll probably rearrange this stuff to make it look nicer or something I'll, I'll do that not now but if i want to add this that means i need to go ahead and dig this up break this entire cable because for some reason it cannot be vein mined and then i need to replace it with cables from refined storage and then add an external like why doesn't this work <laughs> then i need to add an external storage cable thingy. All right, here are the ones that I need. I'm going to be needing this. Uh, apparently I don't have any more of that, so let's just go ahead and make a stack of this. Go ahead and make a bunch of cabling. That's probably good. Then I need an external storage and I also need an exporter. So that is going to be this and another one of these and one of these as well. Okay, got it. Now the reason why I want an exporter is because in the Huh. Why didn't I'm sure I made extra? Apparently I didn't. Uh, the re <laughs> sorry. The reason why I want to make an exporter is because in the last episode we upgraded our power, and currently we're sifting quartz from this. But I can connect it to my system after I connect the drawers, and then it can automatically uh, import. Actually, export. Yeah, I might need three of these. But anyway, I can export quartz into this barrel as a minimum and that way automatically giving it what it needs. And also I, I can put whatever I need in here, which is blaze, blaze powder. I can export jet. So I need two of these. So I can export blaze powder into that. So that is going to be really cool. And now I can actually make it. Now I just need to go ahead and make a little bit more. Oh, I'm, oh, come on. I need to connect this. All right, and external storage completed. So now I can go ahead and put external storage behind this. Boop. Then connect it with these cables, which should be as easy as plopping them down here. Hopefully I have enough of this cable stuff all the way over and... Please let me out. Connect it like that. Which means I should now be able to access thing. Yep, all the rest of all doors, everything. That is beautiful. Oh, I completely forgot about the body thing and it must have despawned. Are you kidding me? That sucks. <laughs> okay, now equipped with cable. I need to figure out. Digging under it is probably going to be the easiest thing to do. But I'm going to do a. An exporter here and an exporter here and then cable going here and then underneath this cable go here then connect like that and I th think if I then just leave this over 
to the storage. That's a bit dangerous. Drop. Not cool. Uh, kind of going under the lava here, which is not ideal. However, I think that this will potentially work. <laughs> a little bit of a zigzag and pain of a cable, but I think that it will work if we just do this and then don't trap myself that would be ideal i i'm definitely trapped this is a problem can i please get out there we go so hitting all the wrong buttons here do that and do that okay right so if i cover this up ideally Facades would be the right thing to use here. Do that. Do this. Uh, yep. Perfect. Do it as new, if you ask me. And now just need to set this to quartz. Like that. And that is getting quartz. And this. If we go ahead and get blaze powder, add that to this, which I'm pretty sure is what we need to feed it. Yes, I have plenty of that. Awesome. Hold on, is blaze powder locked in? Yes, that is locked. Beautiful. I think that is that. Our storage has been upgraded. We still need to make this look nicer with... Actually... I might just leave this and just add more machines. That might be a thing that I do. Because I will be needing more machines. Like the enrichment chamber is nice to have. Another, maybe a pulverizer. You know, things like that. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to keep it like this. Not like that. For now, anyway. With the setup, with refined storage, I am now able to start processing the ores as well. I can make a huge system with one furnace for each ore. Like pulverizing it and doing stuff like that. Like if we take the iron ore and we go ahead and that's not what I wanted to get from it. Please give me the right thing. Where's it? Iron. That is raw iron, of course. Like if we go ahead and do this, we could go ahead and use an enrichment chamber. We could get a purification chamber. That would be ideal, then we can get an iron clump, which can turn into dirty iron, probably not the process I'm going to choose. But, pulverizer, additional chance, 25%, then we also get nickel, I think this is fine. So use a pulverizer and then potentially into an... Yeah, just a rest of furnace. We can set that up pretty easily. I'm happy with this. Also, we completed this. Oh, I got quartz iron and extra cables, okay. Got it. In fact, if I go here and go click to collect everything, that's a lot of stuff. I got a fishing rod as well. Zombie data model. I don't know what that is used for, but this is certainly some cool stuff. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for uh, this video. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And let me know if you want to see a next episode where we set up the ore refining stuff because that would really that that would really complete this beginning beginner process of our uh of this mod pack i think because as soon as we have that as soon as all this is automated maybe a couple of other farms like string and slime and stuff then then we will be pretty well set i would love to go to the moon but i don't know how difficult that's going to be hmm anyways yes that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye.